What is poppin' everybody? You got Count Younger here, back with another uh, guest commentating for Dockridge. Um, this is Realistic Waters versus Hooty in NU, which is uh, Hooty's with the Mambas and Waters is with uh, well, some other team. <laughs> Doesn't really matter. Look at their teams. Hooty brought a really standard bulky offense team. Uh, Santa doesn't mean bad, it, it actually looks quite solid. Whereas RW, I, I'm just going to call it Waters, it's simpler. Whereas Waters brought, I mean they both brought bulky offense, but I'm curious what kind of team he brought. Um, they've both brought the Simeon, and like I said in the last video, most of the Simeons are Scarf, so I'm actually going to assume it. Like Hoodie's team looks very straight up, it looks to be AV Bro, um, SD Incineroar, Specs or Life Warp, uh, Helisk, Scarf, the Simeon, um, just bulky, bulky Exato with Rocky Helmet and probably Spadef Steelix with rocks. Like it looks very simple. Uh, Incineroar versus the, is it AV Slowbro? It should be AV Slowbro with a ride on. So Incineroar versus AV Slowbro lead. Uh, he could just knock off immediately, but I could also understand him not wanting to take a, a Scald here because it's also his best uh, Sneasel check. Sneasel is decent versus Hootie, but as long as Incineroar is around, it's not that great. Um, so Valley Steel on Realistic Waters team actually does basically nothing. It tanks some special hit from like, you know, Heatlisk or Slowbro, but that's it. Um, how is Waters gonna win this game? Maybe Vikavolt, like Specs can kind of break through Hoodie. He goes for Skulls, Crits, doesn't burn. Um, I'm assuming these are both AV. He goes for the Signal Beam with 32, Skulls back. It's 21, yeah, that's also AV. Um, crazy. He does get the burn, which is kind of unfortunate for Waters, but okay. Goes to si and do Helisk on the Psyshock. Whoa! Woo! That's a fire play. That costs Helisk a lot of health. Uh, Helisk physical defense is, is so low that every physical, every, every move that hits another physical side is going to do a shit ton. Um, Waters could go out into Rhydon here, but it could also seem go into uh, Steel Valley, because uh, Rhydon is actually very good versus Hoodie, as far as I can see. Like, it really only loses to a uh, slower. He actually decides to go out into Vikavolt. That Volt Switch did a good amount. I'm not sure how bulky that is. Goes to Incineroar on the Vikavolt. Um, a Vikavolt could be faster than Incineroar, but if it's SD Incineroar, I doubt that. So it goes hard to the Simeon? And lets it get knocked off? Wow. Um, I figured he would go into right on there. I understand he didn't want to get it knocked off, but getting your Simeon knocked off is not great either. Because um, he doesn't have anything that outspeeds Heatlisk at this point. I mean, Heatlisk is almost dead, right? Um, so I could see Waters, uh, maybe not close combat, probably knock off a U-turn. One of those two. Those make the most sense to me. Uh, whereas Incineroar is probably going to want to switch out here. He could stay in, but this thing still checks a lot. Like, it, it sort of checks the slow bro. It checks Vikaful, checks Steel Valley. And uh, it can it, it definitely checks Sneasel. It counters Sneasel even. And if you knock off the ride on it's it's wor worth way less. And this thing is already knocked up as well. So, I mean, Incineroar is s rank for a reason, right? Um, so I'm curious if he wants to stay in here. If I were him, I'd probably go out into Zatu, maybe? But the, if the knockoff is coming, then not. Um, could go out into your own Passivian. Yeah. Get it let knocked off. That's fine. Especially because his own Passivian also lost a Scarf. And you don't really need to outspeed uh, Sneasel anyway, because you do have an Incineroar. So uh, I definitely agree with that play. I could see Hootie just U-turn here because uh, I doubt that Waters is gonna knock again, so he could just go out into his Zatu then. As he does U-turn, does he go into Zatu or Slowbro? Zatu. As Waters goes for a U-turn of his own. Oh, that's unfortunate that he lost a speed tie because now his Pissimian is almost dead. He does get the momentum and he can go in, out into Vikavolt or Sneasel. Um, as St Steelix is coming in right now, uh, you might want to double to Slowbro here. Because you don't want to give him like rocks versus this uh, Vikavolt. He could go for Specs Energy Ball if he is choice Specs. Um, that would definitely hurt a lot too. Uh, Hooty, I don't think Hooty's going to risk his Zato at this point. The Rocky Helmet is very, very nice versus Waters. Um, it also, like, it checks Steel Valley really, really well. Which isn't a threat, but it's nice to have an always switch into it. Zato isn't that useful, so he could also let it go down here. But I'm not expecting him to. I'm, I'm really expecting him to go Steelix here. It makes the most sense. Um, if it is Specs Energy Ball, you could always switch into your Incineroar or go back to Zato if you want to. Um, and Steelix really is there only to get up rocks and sort of check this. Goes to Steelix on a Z... Bug Buzz. That's 58%. It is 
I mean, it's good damage, obviously, for a resisted hit, but... Oh, he goes for Buck Buzz again on the rocks, I'm assuming? Yeah. Now, Celix will die to another Buck Buzz, uh, but the Z-move from this thing is bopped. Um, it could have been Agility Z-move. That's, that's like a set that some of I could run. I like the shiny form, by the way. It looks awesome. Um, but yeah, he's probably just going to Buck Buzz again. He doesn't really lose too much from it. There's no Mon that persisted anymore because Celix will die. <laughs> I mean, there's Pacivian, but Pacivian is not going to take it either. Uh, with Rocks Up, Rocks Up are really good versus uh, RW, though. Because he can't really defog on anything. And uh, let it, Sneasel, Sneasel is quite good versus Hoodie's team as soon as Incineroar goes down. And, uh, and Vikavolt as well. Those are like the main breakers for the team. So letting those get weakened with rocks is awesome. He broke buzzes again. Kills off the Steelix. As Hoodie decides to go into, what, Incineroar maybe? Probably Incineroar. Maybe Helisk. But I don't know if Hyper Voice kills it to this range. It probably does. But you don't want to let the Rhydon get a free switch in to get rocks up either. I mean, he has a Zatu, but like he could Stone Edge or Rock Blast. So I would probably go out into Incineroar here. And just click Flare Bits. I think that's fine. He goes Incineroar. Um, he might be like Z Darkest Lariat and he could just throw it off here. He doesn't really lose much from that either. Um, but I don't think he loses much from Flare Blitzing either. Especially if he's U-Turn, so he can U-Turn on the Rhydon. Not sure what set he is though. I'm, I'm definitely expecting it to be SD, but... As he just Flare Blitz is just 13%. <laughs> Man, Rhydon is so bulky. And uh, he could just go hard into Slowbro here if he wants to. Because even if Rhydon gets up rocks, it's not the end of the world. It's obviously bad for his Incineroar, but... Go to Heart Simeon, actually, on the rocks. Um, probably gonna throw off a knockoff here. Uh, maybe close combat. I don't know, the AV on Slowbro really doesn't do much anymore this game. It actually never did. Because, <laughs> I mean, it kind of checks the opposing Slowbro, but they check each other, so... Eh. <laughs> so yeah, he could, uh, he could knock off here. He could close combat. He goes into Slowbro on... He goes for close combat. That still does so much. Dude... <sighs> Fucking AV, bro. Not bulky at all. Nah, just kidding. U-turns for 39%. That's the benefit of having his scarf gone. Because this slow bro is almost dead. He's gonna, he, he is gonna signal beam predicting the switch. But uh, his slow bro is almost dead. With rocks up next time, it goes down to 32%. Goes hard into the Suvali on the signal beam of the opposing slow bro. Not sure why he's signal beam. Because he could have just scalded. And the slow bro would have died. So I don't understand that play. But okay. Goes for U-turn with Suvali. They run a U-turn over, over party shot, and he went for it this time uh, because of Zatus. So they don't get the momentum. You could just U-turn on him. Goes to Vikervolt on 44%. Um, I'm assuming this lives any hit for Pasimian. I mean, some run Rock Slide, uh, but I doubt this one would be Rock Slide. Gunk shot, gunk shot kills. Yeah, especially if you're an offensive. I'm assuming that was like an offensive max speed, max special attack uh, Vikervolt. In which case, uh, RW should have never gone out into Vikervolt on the Spasimian. Um, but he couldn't really get rid of the rocks either. Like, he couldn't go slower because he would die to U-turn. So, getting Pasimian in there was very smart from Hoodie. Uh, basically, guaranteed a KO. You could just close combat. Mm -hmm. I like that a lot. Because what, what could Waters U-turn out into? Like, he had to like flinch with Sneasel, maybe? Crash. He could have gone out into the Rhydon, but I feel like Rhydon is like his key to winning. It could be Double Dance, but it's Rock, so I doubt it. <laughs> double Dance EQ only? Nah. Um, it's getting really tough for RW to win at this point. Um, flinching with Sneasel, maybe? And then critting Slowbro with Knockoff, and also critting it Cinema. Like, it's it's getting really hard. He's going to go for the Speed Tie here, apparently. Um, if I'm Hoodie, what do I do? Sacking Zatu is kind of fine here, but it's still really nice for, uh, especially if it's Grass Knot, because then it also takes on the Rhydon fairly well. So you could just close combat here, you don't lose too much. I don't even think Pasimian dies if he loses the Speed Tie, and if he wins the Speed Tie, then uh, Waters Pasimian dies. Yeah, I don't think there was any drawback, because I feel like uh, close combat does around 70 max, maybe. Yeah, I feel like it's 70 max. He goes out into his Sneasel. Uh, Hoodie could just go in out into Incineroar, I think, a few. Um, he could stay in, but he actually goes Zatu on the knockoff. Takes some Rocky Helmet damage, just one less stone ro rock switch in, I guess. Um, as he's going to go out into Incineroar now. Um, I don't know what kind of Z-move this is. I know that it's like SD Incineroar, like based on his team and the way he plays it. Um, is he going to go for the Flare Blitz? He goes for the Sword Dance. Now, this could be Tectonic Rage, 
which would oh what are scouts for it uh goes for z move tecton oh tectonic it was tectonic rage because i don't think malicious moonsault kills uh, a ride on plus two but tectonic rage probably did from that range uh, like right on the bulky, <laughs> but he goes out to right on now. It's still not going to enjoy the EQ. Don't know if Hoodie wants to sack this because this is his Sneasel check. Because Sneasel could legitimately still win with the Scarf on Pasibian gone if this Incineroar dies. It has to crit the slow bro, but that's it. Like one crit would be enough. So if I'm Hoodie, I always switch here. Don't know uh, on what health the slow bro is, but I feel like slow bro is a pretty decent switch in. Um, his Pasibian also has a super effective stab move on every single re remaining member. <laughs> of waters so i feel like you don't sack that out you could just sack heal this gear if you really want to um that's fine i would go out of healer or slow bro sacking healer list makes a lot of sense because you can go out into slow bro and click scald mm -hmm. i feel like this is over i'm not sure what water's wing condition is it's hoping hoodie choke stays in with incineroar here doesn't kill the ride on kill off the incineroar with your ride on then crits the slow bro with steezel's knockoff and win that way i think that's that's the winning plan um if it's bandit sneasel and not dreadblade sneasel as i'm like hoping it is four waters then he has to predict right and wins and me uh, at least once um but yeah that's if it's bandit i think he i think he has too little too few sacks so i think he just loses if it's bandit um either way i think that if he keeps his insurance roar around like it just switches now um, there's no way he loses. I don't think anyway. It could still be low kick Sneasel, but it's still gonna, not going to do that much. So we're waiting for Hoodie to make his move, which is interesting. I feel like he's uh, contemplating going into either Healer or slower. That makes the most sense to me. I mean, he could sack Passimian, but I feel like Passimian is at good enough health to where it can take uh, at least one hit from Sneasel. So I don't think you should do that. Yeah, I, I would just sack off Healer and go slower to click Scald here. Um, as Hoodie apparently has a tough time. He does go Helisk on Earthquake. If that was Rock Polish, that would have been hype, but then he still would have had to mega crit slow, bro. Look at that, 60%. I mean, it's AV, so maybe a single crit would do it, but I doubt it. Uh, Slowbro can, in my opinion, just fire off a Scald here. I don't think he loses much at all. Waters, what's there he can do? Nothing. Like, I, I don't see, this is gonna die. He goes into Stuvali on the Scald, that's fine. A hoodie could just scald or fire blast again if it is fire blast somewhere on ice beam somewhere on future side whatever uh if it is fire blast then that's especially good he could also just go out into Pissimian at that point um but since the rocks are up incineroar is a bit pressured by the sneasel either way hoodie scalds here and i think waters always goes out into his steel valley but then what like you have to click you have to have toxic or i don't know Iron Hat flinch. Like they usually run multi attack over Iron Hat anyway, so I don't see that happen. It's gonna be pretty tough for Waters. I'm trying to find a win condition, and <laughs> I think he's doing the same. Flinching with Sneasel is the only one I could think of, but he's gonna have to flinch a lot. A lot. And also with the especially with the intimidate from Incineroar, right? That's it's gonna be near impossible. Not impossible, just very, very, very low odds. Um, yeah, I don't see any world where Slowboy doesn't click Skull at this moment. Goes into Steel Valley. Gets Skulled at does 23%, not that much. Gets the burn, which means uh, he's just free to Skull again. This Steel Valley is a U turn, was going to do the most, which is like probably 20% max if it wasn't burned. So now it's going to do like 50, uh, sorry, like 10, bring him down to 50. Um, and that's U-turn, so he has to take a scope of one of his other two months, one of which will die, and the other one is going to take rocks and might even die, but at the very least has a chance to get burned. So uh, I feel like there's no drawback in, draw in going for Scald again. multi attacks for 5%. Yeah, he's just going to let this go down slowly. Um, this Slowbro has to go for one more Scald. I'm assuming he's going to click multi attack once, once more, because he can't U-turn out of there. And then Waters has to go out into Sneasel. Oh, he got, yeah, he should have gone for it earlier because it, like, it could have gone to burn, etc. It would have done a little bit more damage on Slowbro. Multi-tech is like so weak. Goes out into his right on thinking Earthquake kills at this point, which it definitely doesn't. I think he just went for the crit there, uh, which is, you know, that's fair. If he did get the crit there, did he have a chance to win? Maybe. Goes for the Ice Crash. Obviously, it's his only win con at this point. Critting, flinching. Um, he's going to go for another one. 
misses, so that's going to be the game. Yeah. So, Waters loses to Hootie uh, 2-0. Wasn't really a cl as close as the score makes it out to be, but I want to thank you guys all so much for watching. Uh, make sure to leave a like, subscribe to Dunkerich, and to me, of course. I uh, hope you guys all have an amazing day, and I will see you next time. All right. Later.